At first, I thought writing this speech would be easy. I have so much material, and I actually think I had too much. It took me about 10 drafts of this speech to realize there was going to be no perfect story or funny joke or any amount of words that could ever sum up how I could describe how much I love my little sister. She's grown up to be an amazing woman, and now she has an amazing guy to make it all complete. So I'll share you straight. Well, good afternoon and welcome to uh, this beautiful Church of Annunciation for this very beautiful occasion of the wedding of a very special man and a very special lady, Ryan and Matthew. My friends, as we gather this afternoon and as we celebrate this true love of man and woman blessed by God of both Ryan and Matthew, we offer our prayers for both of them. We ask for God's graces and blessings upon both of them that they have a life of fulfillment, grace, and constant happiness. I think everyone had this date marked on their calendars for quite some time now, and I think that's just a testament to the type of couple that you guys are, two of the most thoughtful, genuine, good-natured, and fun-loving people in the world. I said before that I didn't have a brother, but that's not true, I really do. And uh, now I've got a sister now as well. So I love you, Matt, I love you, Ryan. I wish you all the happiness in the world. Continue to make each other laugh, and remember to be patient with one another, even when it seems impossible. Remember that today, you were both lucky enough to marry your best friend, and most of all, never forget the love you both feel for each other at this moment for the rest of your lives. May the Lord in his kindness strengthen this consent between Ryan and Matthew that you have both declared before God and his church. So I now would like to invite Matthew and Ryan to please turn around and face you, the congregation, as I introduce them publicly for the first time as husband and wife. 